Well, let's face it, ladies, momming is hard, but we can all find a little bit of peace knowing that we are not alone. Simply having conversations with other moms can make your no sleep frozen pizza parenting feel just normal. Yes, so we have rounded <laughs> up a few moms to talk about parenting, the struggles, the joys, the screaming and crying. Today, our topic is bullying. We have Peg, mm -hmm. Tiffany, and Nancy joining us. This is kind of a hard topic for a lot of people to talk about. I mean, mm -hmm. how do you make sure your kid's not the bully? What do you do? How do you not go immediately to the bully's parents and go, hey, what are you doing? You know? Which like, is what I want to do. I don't oh, yeah, know where to, do right. yeah. Yeah. where do you even somebody. start yeah, Me it? too. <laughs> like, so I guess we can start with, um, what do you do if you find out your kid is being bullied? How do you handle that yeah. situation? Yeah. It's a hard one. I know with all three of mine, it's been really different, but my younger one, she's a lot more sensitive. And even in kindergarten, there was this one, you know, she was just kind of the mean girl. She would push her and- In kindergarten? Yeah, it in started kindergarten. in kindergarten. Yes, we yeah. had an issue in kindergarten too. And, and you know, and now they're, they're friends and I've had to explain to her, I'm like, sometimes not everybody's gonna like you, right. but mm -hmm. you know, you need to tell me. And then I did address it with the mom and the mom, took care of it pretty quick but oh, you know you don't okay. want to be it, it kind of sends you back to like the bullying you might have right. put up with as, as a right. kid like it sends you down to your right. basement yeah it does it's right. hard it does. yeah it's right hard. Yeah. exactly yeah. peg what about you have boys we have so boys have and you know my kids have had the bullying happen to them but mm -hmm. it's a fine line between letting them handle it on their own mm -hmm. yes. and realizing that you're going to be dealing with bullies your entire life and mm -hmm. you can't let them hurt your self-esteem mm -hmm. that it's more about them than you know, your child and that it's, you know, letting them handle it. And so we've always said, listen, if it's getting too much, we'll intervene, but we want you to handle this as best as you can. We're always here. Right. And as long as there's no physical violence, right. but it's that little picking stuff. Oh. You know, you've got to learn how to deal with this now because yeah. this isn't going to go away. I mean, it happens in the workplace. It happens oh, yes. throughout life. Absolutely. I think that's a great point because, you know, you know as a, you don't want them to always be like, well, my mom will handle this for me. <laughs> right. You know? always coming in. Right. 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 Yeah. I right. want them right. to not live yeah. in my basement one day. You yeah. Know? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So. Exactly. <laughs> so Nancy, a lot of the bullying is happening online. Yeah. So I think um, this conversation about really letting um, your kids know that, that moms and dads are here um, to ha have this discussion and never think you need to try to deal with this on your own. Mm -hmm. So mom, so yes, having them know that they can come to you at all times, right. but it has gone much more underground, um, especially with the new apps and then the right. group chats. And it can be very, very scary. Um, we know that as young as elementary school, um, there are these group chats and they'll go all the way to, you know, telling somebody to do something that could really hurt that person. Yes, um, I mean, and, we've heard in right. the news. Yes. And so this is why if you're going to give kids phones young, mm -hmm. then you have to set up these boundaries because there could be, and you, yeah. you need to let them know, look, I'm gonna be checking your phone. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna yeah. be making sure that you're safe because especially in elementary school, this is yeah. where it's the biggest concern because this is again, their little brains don't know how to handle all that. Right. And it could be one-on-one -on -one face to face, but what happens when it's all on a phone and you're continuing to read it day after day mm -hmm. and it's a group chat. And so how do you deal with that? And sometimes yeah. they, they wanna handle it on their own mm -hmm. and they they're kind of ashamed that it's happening exactly. so they yeah. don't tell mom so yeah. what are maybe some of the signs that we should be looking for well i think if all of a sudden you know after you know over maybe a short period of time maybe they're just not feeling happy or you're just seeing different they're not with their friends i mean those are the kinds of things that you really need to if they're little red flags i tell yeah. parents if, if there's a red flag then you need mm -hmm. to act on that. Yeah, and okay, so let's say, because uh, we want also to make sure our kids aren't the bully, mm -hmm. so yeah. what do you do if you find out your kid is saying something? Because then you're like, okay, this is a reflection of me. me. <laughs> and so uh, how do you handle that? Because I would be like, are you kidding me? Right. But it's you don't want to handle it that way, because right. yeah. that's also bullying. Right. So what do you do? It's hard. I think it's a hard line, because I know that you know, because we're friends with the, the people that were, it was a little bit of a bullying, and granted it was kindergarten bullying, so I don't yeah. think it was like crazy, but you know, I know that she took care of it, and like if I found out that was my kid, mm -hmm. I've always put my kids on notice. Mm -hmm. If I find out that you're bullying mm -hmm. anybody, yeah. oh, it's not gonna be pleasant to live here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's not usually at the, all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and we know. have to treat each other with kindness and respect. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I have the number right, yeah. for the Marine Corps on the fridge. Love it. Just point. it. Just point. Genius. You know, it was the circus, but they closed the circus down, so now it's 
<laughs> right. customer service. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much. Yeah, and we you. want to let you know that the conversation does not have to stop here. Go over to our Facebook page and let us know your thoughts. Facebook.com slash Daytime Blue Ridge. We'd love to hear from you.